All right, what's going on guys? It's Robert Kenyon back again, Robert Kenyon 71K YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, it's been over a year since I've posted. Um, really am sorry about that. Just been busy guys, like work's killing me. It's just, it's hard right now. Um, we decided we're gonna sell the late model. That's one big thing. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it. That's That's just where we're at right now. And quite honestly, when dad passed away, I kind of lost my fire a little bit. Like I was all for getting back in the car, getting it fixed and going racing and putting this late model together. And then when he passed, my fire just kind of went out. I mean, I'm sure you guys noticed that I keep making excuses not to go race and stuff like that. And I'm sorry, you know, it's just where I was at. I didn't want to race without my dad. Now I've been working on the car some, um, I've got some things done to it. I've peeled the decals off of it because the paint's not holding up like we thought it would. So I'm gonna sand it down here soon and paint it. Um, after we get it painted, put new numbers on it, throw a couple of sponsor decals on it. We're gonna go race it some this year. I don't know exactly where. We might go to the Gap some, or uh, 411 is gonna start running weekly, so we might go in there some too, just depending on where we wind up at, uh, like I said, the late model is for sale. Really just, I have no desire to put it together now without dad. Who knows, maybe one day I'll have a late model. Maybe not, maybe I'll have a modified because they seem to kind of be making a comeback around here and I honestly think I would enjoy one of those. Um, this video is not gonna have like really any work. I'm just gonna kind of show some of the stuff we've done. Um, Right now, a lot of my focus is on my truck. It's down, which I know people's gonna make jokes about being a power stroke, but it's down right now. We've got the parts. We're gonna tear into it. Work's just busy. Um, I've got an install to do Saturday. and Hopefully a few more of those coming along that'll help a lot. Um, plus just actual work, you know, with the place I work at, we, we stay pretty busy here lately. You know, it was slow for a little while which didn't help because, you know, got to have money to go fast. Um, kind of right now the plan is is to run the shocks we have on the car. That's part of it. I've been looking into a different setup on shocks, but I want to run what we got right now because money. Um, got a brand new, well, not new, but a newly rebuilt Holly 4412 since that's what we have to run. Setting in here, um, Travis Cox at Cox Racing Engines put that together for me that is Ashley's cousin uh, so he rebuilt that for me so I can put it on the car uh, got the transmission finally back together got everything plugged off no leaks hopefully really just need to get it sealed up get it done I mean that's that's all it's left to get it done sand it down paint it which I mean I sound like a broken record but now I'm being serious we have to get it done can't sit here and keep putting it off I mean I have to get it done it's inevitable I have to race how it's gonna go I don't know I miss my dad you know it's hard working on the car without him especially when I work on it by myself I really miss him um, but we'll go out here and I'll kind of show y'all what we got done and kind of what the plan is all right so for now I'm just gonna show y'all like where the car's at what's going on with it kind of stuff like that um, again, we're just trying to get back in the car, back to racing, my Jensen Ford t-shirt, uh, just trying to get back to racing, so, yeah, as I was saying, the paint's peeling off, so, yeah, like I heard, the paint's peeled up on the hood, and it's coming up on the roof, uh, I've took most of the decals off the cars, got everything peeled for the most part, I'm gonna sand it all back down. Uh, got it jacked up right now because I was working on the rear end. If you remember, I had to drill a bolt out. Well, I've got that retapped. I just need to put a bolt back in. Uh, transmission has everything hooked back up on it now, so it's good to go. Uh, like I said, the late model is for sale. She's sitting here on the trailer. Got it uncovered right now. I've been taking pictures. And the power stroke is sitting down over here, which... Yeah, of course we still got old blue and them art, man. 
and that's really it guys y'all are caught up now with what's going on we uh we've done some work around the house cleaned up up here uh ashley's dad bought a new truck and it had a toolbox in the back of it and he didn't want the toolbox and i needed a toolbox for the trailer for the race car so he gave me the toolbox for uh, going and picking the truck up for him so yeah, i'm gonna put it on the trailer so i have a toolbox on the trailer probably use it to mount my winch in whenever i get a winch whenever that day comes because for now i'm gonna be driving it up on the trailer um yeah i'm just trying to get back at it guys sorry i've been gone sorry you know everything's happened still have the plan to give away a i think it's a 25 dollars bass pro gift card when i hit 100 subscribers so share this video you know get get our subscribers up again guys i'm sorry i've been gone it's just it's been hard it's been hard to want to race without my dad whenever that was a big thing for me and him we just you know that was our shared love for racing that made this so fun and it was the fact that there's something we both love to do and it's just it's hard to want to do something when the person that loved to do it with you ain't here anymore and i'm sure some of you guys will understand that and understand the trouble of how it's hard for me to continue on but at the same time i know if he was if he was able to talk to me right now he'd be mad at me for not getting this car ready and not doing this because we didn't put all this time and effort into fixing this thing after it was wrecked and busted and all that to get the race ready again for me not to race it. So that's where we're at. I'm going to get everything fixed. I'm going to race it some this year. Like I said, it may not be a lot. Probably won't be for points anywhere. Probably won't do very good the first few races because it's been a while since I've been in the car. And the last time I was in the car, I was slow as crap because I was still learning. And I'm still learning now. So, I mean, it's going to be slow and steady for the first few races we got to get just everything situated clean the cockpit out put some new belts in it because the belts are out of date get decals once we get it stripped down and painted we're going to keep it purple i'm going to redo the bumpers and the sidebars rubber rails whatever you want to call them uh all that back yellow maybe touch up the frame a little bit i'm gonna get numbers off my shocks and see what shocks I am on right now because I've kind of been learning a little more about setup while I've not been racing and kind of starting to understand more of what I need to know in order to run better so hopefully I can do something and make this old girl run better um guys just stick around I mean I know I've said it before we're going to get to it we're going to get to it we're going to get to it we're definitely going to get to it now I'm ready uh I feel I feel the fire again I really want to race and get out here and just try this and see what i can do and make the old man proud so guys thanks for watching if you can like subscribe comment and we'll catch you next time